everyone, Zero Jada here with the XBLA Fans channel. I'm here to do a quick taste of The Binding of Isaac Repentance. This is actually the full package that includes all the DLC for The Binding of Isaac. Uh, if you have the previous DLC, you can actually just buy Repentance uh, and keep on playing. Uh, but if you don't know what Binding of Isaac is, it is a roguelite. Uh, it might be the roguelite that kind of uh, kicked off the uh, sort of uh, big bang of roguelite games going off. It is a really good roguelite. I haven't played much of this one particularly. Uh, I played the original Binding of Isaac on PC and on uh, Xbox. Uh, I've done a few runs here. I think I've completed one and just gotten like the basic like defeat your mom sort of thing. Uh, the story is that your mom's crazy and you're trying to escape her and you end up uh, murdering her. But yeah, uh, you got your, your normal runs here. You got challenges, which uh, kind of supply you with a uh, unique power-ups as you uh, when you start and you can pick up stuff as you go. And these, of course, uh, the dungeons have seemed to be randomized. I did not do much of the challenges in the uh, uh, before this. Uh, but the way this works is that you are playing as Isaac or one of these different characters that you unlock. Uh, as you can see, they have their own stats here and uh, ways to unlock them. I've been uh, playing with Eve earlier, didn't get uh, terribly far before I was like, I'm just going to make a video now. Uh, but yeah, she has this dead bird. Uh, when you take damage, it flies off to attack. And then uh, her other ability allows her to turn into this evil creature once you've taken a certain amount of damage. Uh, Lazarus here, uh, when he dies, he actually revives and gets one more heart. Uh, but anyways, let's, uh, let's just go with Isaac. And of course, you have the uh, different modes here. Oop, I don't want to use a seed. We're just going to go. Uh, but yeah, you are going through these levels uh, trying to survive. It is also a uh, shooter where you shoot uh, in the different directions here. So as you can see, I have my health at the top, uh, my items on the left. Uh, I got my uh, money, bombs, and uh, oops, hello. Uh, what else? Uh, keys there. Excuse me. Uh, but as you are going through these levels, destroying, killing monsters and stuff like that, items will drop for you that give you uh, different uh, bonuses and stuff like that, where most of the time you have to figure out what they do, or you can go and look up uh, a wiki. Uh, some of the items can be confusing, but there are really great wikis out there for all that kind of stuff if you don't want to kind of figure it out. I, however, do suggest uh, you figure it out because uh, trying on that stuff is really fun. All right, let's keep on going here. I am not the best Binding of Isaac player. I enjoy the game, though. There we go. But if I actually pause here, you can see my stats here. And I can pick up uh, items that will let me uh, improve those stats or uh, random items that might uh, be a detriment to me. Uh, there is one particular item I don't love the most unless I have a particular setup, which makes your tears rotate around you in a circle. Like you're a planet. I actually think it's like a little uh, asteroid that... Uh, impales itself in your head but yeah I, I assumed most people would know what the binding of Isaac is and uh, this is just the entire package all together and of course like I said before if you don't own the uh, if you don't want to just get the entire package and you already have the original game and DLC you can just buy the DLC there you go Thank you. get that coin there coins can be used at shops you can see the uh, map up here oh hello Tube or tuber worms. So, like I was saying uh, before, you can unlock different characters. One of them was to uh, is to uh, get through like a level or without taking damage. I just ran right into him, or one or two levels without taking damage. I don't remember which one. Uh, or just not picking up hearts for two levels, which uh, unlocks Eve, which isn't actually that hard. Ooh, free goodies. This is this is a perfect example here. So, what do you do? Reusable airstrike. So that's a reusable item. If I hit the uh, Left trigger. There you go. And there's poop over here. Sometimes there's stuff in the poop. Sometimes there's corn. And I can drop bombs if I want. I'm not going to use it. Uh, this is a room that uh, if I go into it, I will take damage going in and coming out. I don't want to do that. At least not this early in. You can also supplement, uh, boost your hearts with like extra hearts that are don't stay with you. Once they uh, get damaged, they go away. But let's go fight a boss. Oh, this is a, like, old-school uh, Binding of Isaac boss. I'm not going to guarantee I'm going to be able to beat him while talking. If not, we'll, uh, we'll actually just pick another character and we'll just kind of go. I did a nice chunk of damage. We'll move away from you. Uh-oh. Excellent. I 
think I'm gonna be fine. And at the after a boss fight, uh, you actually get uh, some goodies, hearts, and uh, sometimes you get a very special uh, extra room that allows you to uh, get some extra extra goodies. There we go. Perfect. We did it. What do we get? Booster pack. Ooh, cards. So these are fun. Uh, maybe life. See what that offer. Oh, oh, it's gonna take me to the store. Uh, nothing really good. We're gonna run all the way back. So uh, that ability you see at the upper left there, that actually will recharge. Item multiplier. Dang it, it didn't work out how I wanted it. Two of spades. I didn't use it. Two of spades. Yeah, that's what this is. Burrow, perfect health. All right, come on. We used the unicorn card, but... So as you can see, each of these... Kids are pooping on him. Uh, each of these areas has a boss at the end of it, and at the very end of it uh, is the final boss, which is... If you haven't played it, it's usually mom. There are other things that can happen before and after then. I don't know specifically what can happen. I just know that uh, mom is like mo the main villain of the game. Because she is nutso. Ooh, goody. Poop. Got it. It's okay, guys. I saved you from the poop. Blew up the poop. All right, let's use this. Uh, oops. Wanted to use the airstrike, but I can't. I did not. So as you clear rooms, that actually re uh, recovers. All right, cool. Don't know what that does. Ooh, so this is fun. So now I can jump, which is useful for uh, getting over pits and stuff like that. Oh, boy. these. Uh, this is not going to be fun. These are fires that actually shoot at you. Dang it. Stupid fire. Why do you have to hurt? Ow! You know, we're just gonna... All right, cool. Oh, thank you. Oh, so you aim that with the right stick. Okay. Got something. Sometimes the rocks have goodies in them. I don't have enough bombs that I really want to explore that. That's another shop there. Hey, you should have that. And of course, there are lots of enemies. Lots of they do lots of different things. That one explodes into uh, flies. As you can probably guess, death and poop are a reoccurring a reoccurring motif in this game. Lots of poop. Lots of poop. Oh, that poop had money in it. Why? Please don't eat money. It is not good for you. But yeah, I, I enjoy this game. I enjoy the difficulty of it. Uh, I am proud to say that I have never actually looked up an item. I know that the wikis exist. The only time I actually looked something up is how to unlock a character. And we're just going to keep on a going here. But yeah, like you can get some really, really fun combinations of stuff like... You could be a floating head with, like, a charging laser that just does massive amounts of damage. All right, let's eat this pill. There we go. Health up. More health for me. Let's get away from this poop. It's not sanitary. But there is... This game can go so deep with the items and all, like, the different characters. More poop. Excellent. I got pooped on, guys. So uh, one of the challenges is actually you have like a poop army. And what happened was I got this boss, I believe. And every time you like destroyed a little poop, more of those little poop guys would... Uh... Can you hurry up and kill me so I can show another character? Uh, there you go. And then of course you got the seed if you want to keep playing that one. Uh, but I got this like poop army. Where is it? Uh... I don't remember what it is. It might have been... Yeah, Scatman. And like... You could summon poop, and then you blow it up, and, like, these little... You couldn't actually attack, but... Uh, let's see, let's see. Have a heart. The Guardian. So the Guardian's another interesting one where you're actually defending a, uh, a uh, creature. Let's just go with Purist and see what that is. I haven't tried this one. 
All right, let's just kind of go. So again, as far as I'm aware, these are also randomized. You just you just have a pretty like a, uh, a setup that you start with. I might be wrong. Again, I haven't done many of the challenges. But like I, uh, you probably have guessed, beating the game once doesn't mean much. You're just, you're just unlocking more stuff, and more stuff will appear in uh, the game as you progress and do different things. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that like the Binding of Isaac was the game that kind of kicked off the uh, the craze of uh, indie roguelite sort of stuff. Excellent. Look at that poop down there. You should come down there. Dang it. Like, you also encounter, like, the seven deadly sins, and you have to kill them. The four horsemen of the apocalypse have recently appeared in my game. Ooh, more cards. What do we got? Item multiplier, we're gonna use you. Doesn't work here. Uh, nope. Item multiplier. Two Item oh, cards. The magician. I actually think that means that they're homing uh, uh, teardrops now. Again, I might be totally wrong about how the challenges work. I like just straight. Everyone dies. I should have saved that for the boss. That would have been great to uh, avoid. Any death, uh, any uh, damage. Get some more money there. But yeah, it's it's just Binding of Isaac. If you have played Binding of Isaac, this is just the DLC or the entire full package. If you haven't played Binding of Isaac, uh, you can probably just pick up the base game for cheaper because this is everything all together. Uh, see if you like it and then maybe uh, start buying those DLCs and keep going. But yeah, I am Zero JD. This is the XBLA Fans channel. Thank you very much for watching. Once again, I am not a Binding of Isaac expert. Uh, I just kind of wanted to talk about the game. We'll uh, leave it off here. Bye, everyone. Take it easy. Thank you.